So the Narrow Road Home officially opened its doors really as a response to, to a calling that just became very obvious to me. We have an opportunity to offer uh, the healing and the, the journey of self-discovery to women who are lost in a cycle of addiction. I think the biggest thing that really stood out to me was that they really got down to the root of things. I had been in therapy for 15 years and nothing helped. I drank a lot, like probably a two six of vodka a day, plus some beers. I was literally at the end, like I knew every needle I was sticking in my arm I was trying to kill myself with. And it, I had no hope, I, I just wanted it to be over. Before I came here, it was, I came to the end of my life, but now I feel like I'm just beginning my life at 30. I just feel like there's so much opportunity. I can actually dream again. You know, even with my parents, like they've come back in the picture because I was, my life was so destructive before they couldn't. We really believe in bringing God into the center of our wounds and our brokenness, that he is the great physician. I was able to sit at the table and talk to the staff and my family actually looked at me um, and was shocked to see that I was talking the way I was talking and um, that um, I wanted the help that I needed. Um, God actually took all that fear away from me as I walked in the door and just opened me right up to the the staff and to the girls that were at the home and I felt very welcomed and very loved just opened up and became me again <laughs> I had a heart again <laughs> I always ask the women when they first come in, is, is first of all, do you really want this? Are you ready to die to your old self and never, ever, ever have to go through a recovery process again to deal with this stuff? There is hope. There is always hope. And especially with God, there is hope. I can't do it on my own, and I kept thinking it was me. I have to do this on my own, and I don't have to do it on my own. With the help of the narrow road and finding my relationship with God, it's making me be able to walk this out and to do this and live a sober and happy life. The Narrow Road Home wants to, to really help uh, thoughtfully guide you, uh, mentor you, to really go really deep and find out well, why do I believe what I believe? You know, why are my thoughts the way they are? And how do I bring truth into that? I think if you don't have community and a really strong bond, um, whether it's outside or inside, um, of a treatment center, I think it's just, it's really hard to get better. The girls that are here are so encouraging. We do expect that every woman come in be able to contribute what she can. If we can invest in that other lifestyle, we certainly can give everything that we can to invest in our healing. But we just can't continue to do it without support and sponsors to specifically you know, help and save women from a lifestyle of addiction and you know, walking into death, right? Just the amount of love that you instantly feel is, oh, it was overwhelming, overwhelming. They really do care. People are worth it. I'm worth it. And that's something that I have to keep holding on to.